This here's Clint, and I got something special for you. I'm gonna help you understand all them song lyrics that you don't understand. Stay tuned and listen to what my rendition, the only real rendition there is, of the songs that you'd like to listen to. All right. All right, we're back with another one. Let's see what we got. You're So Vain by Carly Simon. You walked into the party like you were walking on a yacht. Your hat tragically dipped below one eye. Your scarf, it was apricot. You had one eye in the mirror, or on the mirror, and watched yourself give out. I don't know what the hell give out is. I don't know what that means. Maybe it means like strut. And all the girls dreamed that they'd be your partner. They'd be your partner. And. Hmm. Alright. So, dude walks into a party. Like he's like, like he's the shit. And he's dressed with an apricot scarf. Okay, that's pretty gay. But hey, the guy's got confidence. He walks into the party. He's the shit. And the girls all want to sleep with him. Man, that's every man's dream. You're so vain. You probably think this song is about you. You're so vain. I'll bet you think this song is about you. Don't you? Don't you? Okay, well, is it really that he's vain or that she's pissed off because he wouldn't sleep with her? That's the question. Oh, you had me several years ago. That explains it right there. That fucking explains it right there. Carly Simon's pissed off because this dude looks good, even though he might be a little gay. And they slept together years ago, and she never got over it. And now, she wrote a song talking shit on him. That's what's going on. When I was still naive. Oh, there's always an excuse, Carly. Always an excuse. Well... You said that we were, that we made such a pretty pair, and that you would never leave. He was trying to get at your pooty poo. What do you expect? But you gave away the things you loved, and one of them was me. I had some dreams. They were clouds in my coffee. Clouds in my coffee. What exactly are clouds in your coffee? Um, I'm not too sure about that one. Hmm. I don't know. But anyways, she's pissed off because maybe he took her virginity and said so now she's talking shit. All right, there's a chorus again, the whole year of anything. Last, last verse here. Well, I heard you went to Saragota, and your horse naturally won. Then you flew your Learjet up to Nova Scotia to see the total eclipse of the sun. Motherfucker's got some money, horses and Learjets and shit. All right. Well, you were, you're where you should be all of the time, and you're not. You're with some underworld spy. Or the wife of a close friend. Wife of a close friend. There comes a point when you're that good looking that you could sleep with whoever you want and you cross a line. In this case, he slept with the wife of one of his friends. Carly Simon may have been that wife. Huh. So not only is she pissed, okay, because it says that, um, but you gave away the things you loved, and one of them was me. So maybe she was friends with her and her husband. 
and things got out of control one night and him and her ended up sleeping together so he lost her who he really didn't care about her but he lost his best friend and she is holding this vendetta against him because even though he fucked his best friend's wife his best friend misses him because he may be gay too they may, this may be a this song is about swingers because he's wearing an apricot scarf which makes he which makes him a swinger which makes him bisexual so maybe he slept with both the wife and the best friend and she liked it a lot and the best friend was like I can't compete with that because he's got a massive cock and that's what's going on is she's mad at him so she's talking she's shit talking to him in this song because she wants to sleep with him again and her best and her husband misses him as well and he maybe has given up the swinger lifestyle that's what's going on you're so vain it's about Carly Simon being pissed off because of the swinger lifestyle she previously lived or maybe still does Never saw that one coming. <laughs> All right. Well, until next time, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the um, social media shit, and the uh, Patreon shit. And, uh, see you next time. All right.